everybody, how's it going? It's Paul, another Ride Home Review. This week I watched uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. Uh, it stars, uh, is directed by uh, Joaquin Ronning and Espen Sandberg, two guys I've never heard before. And it stars Johnny Depp, uh, Javier Bardem, Jeffrey Rush, um, Orlando Bloom. Uh, but just to get right into it, uh, what I liked about the pot, or I'm sorry, the synopsis of the film is about Will Turner's son uh, trying to break the curse of his father. If, the, if you've watched the movies, you know that he now has to uh, captain the Flying Dutchman. So his son sets off to uh, break that curse, figure out a way. Has to get Jack Sparrow involved. Um, meets up with some nasty ghosts and um, and a young lady who's also searching for uh, a certain treasure. So that all the same, um, it was once again a wild ride in the Caribbean. And what I really liked about the film, uh, first and foremost. Uh, like all the films, the art direction and the production design, costumes, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing how they managed to uh, pull that scenery together, pull it all there and actually transport you. It feels like back in time. I know there's probably, they probably cut some corners here or there, but for the most part, it's just amazing um, how they're able to do that uh, and keep that consistency. Um, Another aspect is, of course, the iconic music. Um, that was brought back. I thought that, that was a little more lacking in in the, the previous Pirates movie. Um, the visual effects, the ghosts, awesome. Great stuff there. Uh, and, of course, seeing Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow once again. Everybody likes Captain Jack. Now... Uh, the things that I didn't really care about too much were there were parts where I felt that Johnny Depp was really overdoing it. <laughs> he was like trying too hard to be a character he created, um, which just seemed kind of odd. But at the very beginning, the very first act was kind of wobbly. Uh, it was very rushed, uh, major plot holes. Things just fell into place, and you're like how did that happen um what's going on here uh and it just was like i said wobbly the, and it just didn't have kind of like it didn't capture the magic that the first three did it was a lot better than the fourth one um and i tried to try to get back to where it was but it still didn't have it uh so yeah, the storyline was a little weird. It could have been played up a little bit more. I mean, they tried to go back to where the first one was and the second one with the evil ghosts and the British Empire and, you know, trying to find a treasure that's going to, to cure like the Aztec gold in the first one. However, I felt that they missed on all of those points and they just tried to go back to something and just didn't, just ran out of steam or something. I have no idea, but it, Whatever it was, it, it, it was, like I said, it was better than Stranger Tides, but not nowhere near as good as the original trilogy. Now, what I liked the most about it, or excuse me, uh, one thing to watch for, I really enjoyed the story of how Salazar came to be. I thought that that was really cool and to get a bit of an origin story with Captain Jack. So that was a really cool scene um, in that. But what did you guys think? Did this hold water? No pun intended. Um, with the others, did it miss? So on and so forth. Let me know. Like and share this video. Please uh, like our page. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and please subscribe to us on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you see it. Tell me what you think. All right. See you next time.